These two systems are nearly identical in terms of specs and performance, but one of them costs much less than the other. Can you guess which one? If you guessed NZXT, well, you're wrong. Before you guys buy a pre-built PC or any type of PC, you should always consider other options out there, right? In the end, you always wanna get the most value for your money instead of overpaying. I can't tell you guys how many times I've gotten messages on my Instagram and Discord of people sending me links of pre-built PCs that they've bought asking me my opinion about it. Most of the time, they've actually already purchased the PC and they wanna know if they got a good deal from it. If you're asking me that question, if you're asking anyone that question, there's a good chance that you probably overpaid. With how bad the market is still doing, buying a pre-built system is still a better alternative for a lot of people compared to building their own, especially for those who still can't find a graphics card. Just to be clear, this is not a video praising light gaming PCs, telling you you should go on their website and buy a PC. Instead, what I want you guys to take away from this video is to be patient with your shopping, not only for selection of parts, but also the prices, right? That way you don't end up overpaying. Even if you buy a pre-built PC from a different company out there, at least you'll have peace of mind and confidence that you've made the right decision. So with that said, I'm gonna go over a system that light gaming PCs has sent over and I'm gonna compare their prices with other more popular pre-built companies and even compare them with retail prices to see if it would be cheaper to buy the parts separately and build your own. The unit I have here features a Ryzen 9 3900X with 32 gigs of RAM and an EBJ RTX 3080 Ti with tons of airflow. We got six fans for intake and three for exhaust. It's also built in this oddly similar case to the Lian Lee Dynamic 011. They're calling it the Neo Cube. In terms of the actual build itself, I'm not gonna lie, there were some questionable choices in here, like putting only a 240 millimeter AIO with a Ryzen 9 processor and also passing the GPU cables through the top instead of the bottom. I mean, I guess that's preference really, but I tend to route my cables underneath the GPU just because it looks nicer. Uh, but overall, I think the uh, build turned out really nice and they did an excellent job with the cable management. So Light Gaming PCs has three main categories on their sites. We got pre-builds, build kits, and custom PCs. Pre-builds are PCs that are already built and ready to go. You can view all the different configurations on this page and pick one that meets your budget and taste. Build kits are my favorite. They come with everything you need to build a PC yourself, which I think is really cool because this doesn't take away the experience of building a PC for the first time. You pick a kit that you like and they ship all the parts to you along with a build guide and a dedicated tech support in case you need help. NZXT actually uh, recently came out with their own version of build kits and everyone thought it was new and exciting, but little did they know, Light Gaming PCs was the first to do it and they've been doing it for several years already. One thing I don't like about NZXT build kits is the variety. You only have two kits to choose from, whereas Light Gaming actually gives you more variety. Then we have the custom PCs category, which lets you completely customize and build the PC of your dreams. Once again, you will find a wider selection here compared to most other pre-built companies, and I love that you can see the prices of each item. All right, let's talk about prices now, which I think is one of the most important factors when building or buying a PC, especially in today's market. You just don't want to overpay. So here's a nice mid-range gaming system I just built from light gaming PCs using the same case. We got the Ryzen 5 5600X, 32 gigs of RAM with a 3200 megahertz frequency and a Founders Edition RTX 3070. Everything altogether comes out to 2152 at the time of making this video, of course. I wanna give you guys something to compare against, so I'm gonna use NZXT in this example since they are one of the more popular ones out there. I put together a similar list from their available parts, so the specs are nearly identical and their system came out to a little over $2,300. Now one might argue that NZXT costs more because their parts are more expensive, which does make sense, but you, know, you also have to consider variety. If you go with NZXT or a similar company, you're pretty much locking yourself with only using their products and no competitors. Some people out there might prefer that because they actually do enjoy NZXT products, but for the vast majority out there, including myself, I think we tend to prefer more selection of parts, just so we can kind of feel like we're in control, right? We love that customization element. So in the end, I was able to get a much nicer case with a faster processor, all while paying a couple hundred dollars less. Light gaming PCs are also waiving the $100 build fee for all of November. So you just pay the parts only, and on top of that, you get a free wheel spin before you check out, which will give you a chance to win a free upgrade for your system. 
Okay, now let's compare a pre-built system to a custom PC. So if you were to buy the parts yourself and build it, it's actually gonna cost you a little more, assuming you can grab an RTX 3070 for retail. So overall, what I'm trying to prove here is that light gaming PCs are extremely competitive with other pre-built companies out there, even if you're planning on building your own PC. So if you guys are still struggling to buy graphics card for a fair price, or if you're shopping around for a new PC, then I feel like you owe it to yourself to at least put light gaming PCs in your comparison. In fact, if you guys are bored after watching this video, then just check out their website and try building your dream system using their PC builder. I'll drop a link to their website down below. The only critique I can give them if you guys are watching is please hire a new website designer. I would love to see something more user-friendly and refined. I would also get rid of the black background and go with something more inviting, but that's just my opinion. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, consider tossing a like. I actually just thought of a really good idea. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this, okay? I'm feeling really good. If the video gets 15,000 likes, I'll give away this exact PC to one person in the comment section down below. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me know in your comments below what do you think about light gaming PCs? I want you guys to be honest. No ass kissing answers, okay? What do you really think about this company? Um, do not mention anything about the giveaway. This is, gonna be, this is gonna be a secret between everyone that stayed till the end of the video. Obviously less people will join as well, so better for you. Um, this will be global as well. I'll cover shipping and custom fees. And uh, I'll announce the winners on my Twitter, IG, and even Discord account as soon as this video gets 15k likes so yeah with that said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in the next one